this is another interesting concept which comes up a lot right the whole concept of techno of tech debt right which is you know tech debt is hard for people to understand uh if they're not sort of from engineering or epd background which is why what does this mean where does it come from you know all of that right and what i've actually found interesting is that by relating it back to finance is actually a great way of helping the more, more non technical people understand it which is tech debt is just like any other debt right which is that you know you have to at the very least make your interest payments if you pay less than due interest you are going to get hit by the eighth wonder of the world which is compounding but it will hit you on your head right and it will spiral out of control and ideally what you want to do is you want to pay down principal as well the classic bug fixing versus refactoring versus let's look at something and you know re uh, rearchitect it you know things like that for example you know one sort of uh, simple rule that i use is that if i see more than like x amount of bugs against a given module i will actually schedule an architecture right because it's now becoming clear to me that just fixing a bunch of bugs in this is not helping because things are moving around right or if the you know the open bug count against a module doesn't go down but you know it just keeps shifting around lots of interesting ways of keeping an eye on this but what it basically means is that you in every sprint you have to pay a certain amount of interest uh and you have to keep a very close eye on sort of you know uh whether you're paying down enough principal or not because otherwise because you keep borrowing every feature you release right adds debt and so you you are in a sense continuously borrowing and at some point if you hit your limit as you know what banks will do they will just keep you from borrowing in this case your architecture will start to fall over and you will not be able to borrow anymore sometimes this happens not because of you but because of the market right like you know this famously happened to ajay at gojek which is they would build a new uh sort of uh, ride hailing engine uh but like by the time they deployed it the you know the traffic would go up 10 20 30x suddenly invalidating a whole bunch of assumptions that they'd made which by the way is the only way to build it right you really can't build something for a 100x scale when that happens that's for the best reason right which is that you have such amazing product market fit that you know you are you're stepping up and you're sort of you know uh iterating rapidly but this is a continuous thing when you're building software you have to keep an eye on it uh and again it doesn't matter how technical or non technical you are you must build a good sense of what your uh you know what your tech debt looks like when you have to be able to talk about it intelligently with your team as well as with your investors uh so that they understand you know why you don't spend 100% of your times building all the new features that they read on some wiki page somewhere right